Alright, I thought I'd show this uh, while it was happening. The voltage has dropped 12.66, but watch what happens when I take off the return wire. <clears throat> now, I'm not sure exactly, I'm taking it off right now. Yeah, look at that. Isn't that weird? Alright. And he went up, he even went up to 74. And, uh, but I don't want to fry my reed switch. So, uh, and it speeds up incredibly fast when I do that, too. So, uh, that's, that's kind of strange. Uh, <clears throat> see, it actually went up higher than when I, when I first got it. And it's only got basically one wire connected to it on the return which is uh I believe just the negative just got the negative going down here that's it it's the only thing connected uh pretty incredible Let's, let's try disconnecting the negative and see what happens to the voltage. Ah, there's the voltage going down. See, look at that. Now there's nothing returning back to the battery. And that's incredible. <laughs> it's way higher than, you know, it might be some kind of fluff voltage. Who knows? But it's higher. <laughs> it's higher than when I uh, first found it. Um, and uh, it seems like it really likes not having any kind of return going back to it. Straighten it back out here. And uh, 77, look at that, 78. That's <laughs> climbing. So, and these batteries are really strange because, uh, you can take these off, these cell lids, and look inside, and this thing is speeding up by itself, uh, which shouldn't be speeding up, but it is. I gotta watch it carefully so this coil doesn't get sucked in, but you know, this started out at 12.72, 73. I've seen this bounce up to 78 so far, and uh, now it looks like it's bounced out at 77. So I might start dropping it again. So it could be just some kind of, I'm pretty sure it's a, like a, uh, a fake surface charge or like, you know, this fluff voltage crap. Okay, but uh, it's still kind of strange how it just sped up when I took the return wire off but yeah see it's dropping a little bit but I'm gonna completely disconnect it like this and now it's it's not connected to the battery at all you can see how much energy is transferred into the the mechanical uh, motion of a rotor because uh, you know Spinning mass stores energy. Um, it's still going, and look at the voltage now. 12.67, so it drained the battery a little bit. 67. But there's nothing connected at all to it. But what's so strange is... <clears throat> well... Maybe I did have, yeah, I had I had the return wire completely disconnected. It's the only thing that was connected was just the main power wire, and as if it was just a simple one wire coil pulse motor. <clears throat> so I'm not sure why the voltage spikes were showing up uh, without. The return actually connected to the battery so that that's really strange so the battery did drop though 67 
well, look how much power it's stored. It's not even it's not even connected to the battery. Let's see, it's running down. And this might have a little bit of recovery charge eventually. We'll have to look at it in about a day, come back and look at it probably. 67, I might go back up to 68 by itself here. Um, well, it's still running down. That's just really good bearings. I didn't even really oil them down or anything either. There's a little bit of magnetic drag, just barely, causing a tiny bit of friction on the reed switch. Probably these metal clips. But, <clears throat> yeah, it's not even connected to the battery and it's still running down. That's how well it stores the uh, energy. Um, Oh yeah, see it's bouncing back up. I just saw it bounce. See, so it's bouncing back up by itself. You know, tomorrow might be at 12.70, maybe even 71, or it might even be right back where it started. But the fluff voltage sitting on top of it at, at 12.78, with no return going back to the battery, is very strange. Very strange indeed. Well, I guess that's it. Um, so, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching, and uh, see you in the next video.